everybody. Hope you're doing well. Um, I have a disposable review for you today. This is from Ruthless that they kindly sent to me. This is Grape on Ice. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. We'll come back. We'll talk about this. We'll vape it. And we'll see how we go. Catch you in a minute. Nicotine is an addictive substance. Vaping is at least 95% safer than smoking tobacco. No tar or carbon monoxide. The following video is for adults only. Viewer's discretion is advised. Okay, so let's have a little look around the box. This will be quite quick because it's not a complicated device. But there you go, this product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance. Ruthless on the side there in big, bold, purple writing. Nice little image on the front there. And all your warnings and everything on the back, as you would expect. Now, disposables obviously are a huge thing at the moment, huge thing. Um, companies are coming out with them all over the place in my opinion they have a place in the market for sure um, as a long-term solution not sure myself I think they need to be a stepping stone into the refillable pod market and then so on and so on but yeah definitely have a place so let's have a look so in the box pull it out this is how it comes nice sealed packet got your tear marks across the top so we will rip that open in hopefully a relatively quiet manner out of the corner of my microphone and they come like that so you got ruthless stamped across there you have your hygiene like drip tip cover going on there so we will pull that off now the pros in my opinion to one of these is is literally a convenience thing um, i have one or two laying around in the car if i forget my main vape i will take them but also they have the you know uh, the generation of people that maybe can't be bothered or just the people in general that can't be bothered with the filling of tanks the changing of coils etc etc anyway so this is grape on ice from Ruthless. Um, basically it's telling me they are available between five and six pound. Um, it has a 600 puffs they reckon you're going to get out of this and a 500 milliamp hour battery 2 mil e-liquid capacity. So yeah I think that's there's limited information I can give you on this but you know the proof is in the pudding so let's have a vape and see what we think. 20 milligram nicotine salts by the way. little light at the bottom there you know that's not unpleasant I have to be honest that is quite nice I've said it before I'm not a massive grape fan however this one's okay it is okay a relatively nice tight draw very much grape very much that authentic grape flavor that you get in e-liquids Ruthless, you know, I've reviewed a few of their e-liquids and they do some bangers. They do do some bangers. Yeah, I mean, it's very smooth. It's nicotine salts, 20 milligrams, quite high for me. So I won't be vaping on it too much. Um, but yeah, the flavour is good. The flavour is very good. Um, it's a nice cooling sensation at the end of it. Absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I like it, you know, the flavour in this little beauty 
is actually quite nice. I mean, they're so simplistic that you literally undo them from the wrapper, you pull the drip tip cover off, and you vape it. It dies, you dispose of it. Now, what I will say is disposing of these needs to be done correctly, I would say. The majority of people will do. However, you do see, you know, people that just launch them in the bin, rolling down the road, whatever. Um, so, yeah, if you are going to get one of these, which a lot of people are, because it is tasty and it is very convenient, just make sure you dispose of it correctly. Yes, quite nice. The flavour on point, the draw relatively relatively tight, I would say. Um, for someone that's transitioning from smoking to vaping, this could be a good stepping stone. This could definitely be a good stepping stone. And we all know Ruthless are going to make some good liquids. There's no doubt there. So the liquid inside this is always going to be spot on. And this one is. And this one is. So that's it. Very simple. But if you would like one of these, do a little search online, see what is available, and pick one up. It's certainly not a bad device, um, and very, very tasty, I would say. And that's coming from someone that doesn't like grapes, so yeah. Anyway, thank you all ever so much for watching me. A massive thanks to Ruthless for sending this over for the purpose of this review. I really appreciate it. You all take care of yourselves, and I will catch you. Sorry about the wobbling of the camera, that would be the wind. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.